Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you all the modifications I made to my 2017 New Canoe Frontier 12. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start at the rear of the kayak and move forward. Right here, I have the New Canoe outboard motor mount in case I ever do want to upgrade. And then I have my 12 volt power station here where my battery goes and right here is the kill switch which I have also done a project video on and I did my own plug and play kit. The power for the kayak trolling motor is going to come through here and go into this Atwood plug and then as you go to the other side of the battery you can see I have my other plug here which is an SAE waterproof plug which is going to power my fish finder. And just to show you kind of what it is inside with everything hooked up, I have my circuit breaker there and then I also have my marine fuse box that powers everything. And as you can see on the back here, I have two Real Blaza mounts, and I was able to put backing plates on them, the Scotty type backing plates, which I've shown how to do in another video. And then I also have my camera pole here, one of them. And I'll go around to the opposite side here. And I have my crate which has my retractable paracord anchor line. And then as you go inside, I have my anchor and the sheath that holds it in place. And then I have a little cargo net on there that keeps everything in place with quick connects to these eye bolts that I put in there. And then of course, I have the three rod holders. And this all straps down using Velcro straps into these attachments, which I also made myself, and there is a video for that. And then I have my 360 seat. And this right here is my remote for the trolling motor because it's wireless, Bluetooth, and GPS activated. And here's my Lowrance. 5 TI touchscreen trolling motor and you can see the wiring coming out from the hole of the kayak and I ran all the wiring through the kayak myself and I have to admit that was a little hard. Then I have my stand-up bar here and on the stand-up bar I have this connection for my other camera that I can use and then going down here, I do have the dashboard here, but I didn't like it because it stood up too high when you tried to put down the stand-up bar. So I removed the risers and just drilled a hole and then used the standard New Canoe track attachments to put it in there. And then I have my two front rod holders, which again, I use backing plates, but I just use polyboard for that because there was access, not like in the back. And then here is my Haswing trolling motor. And I'm gonna go around the other side to show it to you. This is a bow mount, 55 pound Haswing Cayman, and it is GPS and Bluetooth enabled. So it also comes with a Magellan phone app, which can be used on either Android or iPhone. So I can control it from my phone and it's got a lot of the same functions that the more expensive trolling motors have, uh, including routes, spots, and it also has an anchor lock. So I can just press that function and it will keep me in relatively the same position using GPS satellites. So that's it. I'm gonna take it out and I'll do a test run to show everybody how well it works, 
and stay tuned for that video. So that's it. If you have any questions about this or the other projects I've referenced in this video, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.